Uh, my name is uh, Clifford uh, Biokumu. I'm the script writer for Zwena together with uh, Shalin Wangare. Uh, the story was shared uh, with me by Shalin Wangare and it was uh, about two sisters who had a falling close to seven years ago. Wewe kila siku kila uchao uko na opinion. Vile tunafaa kufanya. Vile tunafaa kuishi. Zwena wewe umetupata tukishi haya maisha. Haya maisha ambayo wewe mwenyewe uliamua hutaki kuishi miaka saba iliyopita. Wewe kazi yako ni fanye ni vile, fanye ni hivi, nende ni kule, rudi ni hapa. Da. For me especially it was more about self discovery for the characters when uh, after leaving a rural home which is set in the coastal uh, parts of Mombasa uh, she went to Nairobi uh, leaving behind everything and after all this time of not being in touch and communicating with uh, the family that is especially the sister she decides to come back and that is the beginning of the story because we learn so much of uh, what happened in the past uh, how it has influenced the relationship between herself and uh, the sister Adija, how that uh, past has uh, brought some sort of uh, bad blood between them. And so the story is about revealing part of this and uh, trying to s explore different ways of them trying to come back and mend ways and uh, become sisters again and become family again. And of course, in between all this, there is um, Ayu, <laughs> who happened to be her high school boyfriend. When she left, Ayu was also left in the dark. She did not know what happened to Zuena until when she returned seven years later. Hivi, bunu lienda miaka hiyo yote. Hata simu. Ayu. Wajo ulipotoweka miaka nani iliopita nilizurura kutafta kila pembe ya kijiji na hata mjini. Uh, it is also a moment of um, trying to either reignite uh, a dying flame, a passion, or to some degree a love that never really faded, despite each one of them moving on or moving forward with their lives. Yeah. Uh, when Shalin shared the story for me, it was very interesting, and I just went on, you know, uh, to start writing, because having lived, born, and raised in uh, the coast region in Mombasa, particularly, uh, it was easy for me to to relate with a lot of the things that are going on, the soil culture, uh, and even the taboos. So it was easy for me to play around with uh, the aspect of the family home. You know, that's a family home where, you know, the, the parents are no longer there, but the elder sister is, you know, still within the family house, living there with the young uh, Zainab. Eh? Yeah. So a lot of these things happen. We see them happen every other day in, uh, in, in, in our societies. So it was easy for me in that aspect to play with that. and. Uh, Ayub coming to the story was very easy because Zuena needed an escape from the issues that she's revisited in her home with the sister. Nataka Rafiki. Rafiki too. Rafiki wa that. Rafiki wa that too. And it was easy for us to play around with the quote unquote lost love and how they are dealing with that, with that that issue of not being together, wanting to be together for some reason, but everything doesn't allow them really to be together. Olio, Nini, Nani. Quite a number of uh, favorite scenes, including the one uh, that Zuena for the first time meets the the, the friend. Come, sit a car, a pana. 
who happens to have been now uh, married to Ayo. So that for me was one of the interesting scenes, how awkward that feels, how she actually confirms. Uh, you know, now when she went to the house, knocked the door and <laughs> Angela comes out and opens the door, that's one of the favorite scenes for me. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, for 2022, this is the first film to be shot in the region. It is not, it is not entirely a, a, a Mombasa production, but being shot in Mombasa with crew largely and cast from Mombasa, it to some degree uh, gives a boost to the young filmmakers who are in Mombasa. It exposes, the, exposes them to uh, different working experiences with other crew from outside the area. So therefore, they, I believe there's going to be some exchange of skills, knowledge, and ideas. And therefore, those who are keen on growth will eventually grow beyond what they've been doing for the past two, three, or four years of their careers. So moving forward, they might learn two, three things, make new contacts, and who knows, maybe do something better uh, uh, than Zuena.